My name is Heather and welcome back. I'm going to be doing another free art lesson on encaustics. This time we're going to incorporate some mixed media. So we have uh, our piece that we worked on before and the first thing that I'm going to do is do a thin coat of our medium where I'm going to put down another object. So I'm using, let's see, you got to be fast with it. Basically, the medium is going to work kind of like a glue, kind of like when you're using your um, acrylics. Any of your mediums can work as a glue if you want to use uh, mixed media. So I have a little drawing that I did of a nice little monster on some newsprint. And we're going to wait until this gets nice and glossy and stick them right on there. And then, of course, I want to go back over him like you would with any other type of medium to really get him glued down. All right, so that's, that's one piece that we're doing. I also brought a few different types of papers that we can use. Um, this is a little bit more plasticky. We've got some mesh. We're just going to use little pieces for a demo. Got mesh and uh, some nice orange colorful paper. So I'm going to use the orangey one first because I like this because you can really just kind of crinkle it up and then put it on, try to make some interesting textures. Really the best thing that I've always found with encaustics is just to play, you know. Um, Get it all nice and heated up again. And the gun gets pretty hot, so don't keep your hands down under there or anything. back over it. Lots of layering and encaustics. Layering and playing. All right. I'm trying to get that guy to stay down. Now that's really cool because now I have this awesome texture going on and I can paint right over that and it almost becomes a part of the surface. So let's just kind of play around a little bit more and put in some different types of papers. That one turned out pretty cool. like another one that can get scrunched up a bit. It's actually kind of waxy in and of itself. Um, now one thing I will say, if you want to use something like a photograph in your encaustics, it is possible, but just be aware that the plasticiness of the paper uh, is going to make it a little bit harder because it's going to want to bubble up when you're using your heat gun. So in that case, you're going to want to use the spatula. So you're going to smooth it out, get it nice and warm, put your photo down and then use the spatula on top because the heat gun, the air will bring it back up for you. Um, so right now we have, you know, some mixed media things in here, some different papers, some different textures going on. And again, you can paint right on top of that. You know, let's go back in here with some of our nice green. Do those drips everybody loves so much, right? Just gonna kind of do some 
some blending. The other great thing about this heat gun, you know, you can kind of etch back in with it. And also know that you can use pretty much anything flat. Um, you know, you can go outside, get some leaves, some some sticks even. Uh, I have a piece right over here. Used a bead necklace. Got a bead necklace and some photographs. Like I said, it's possible. And uh, some newspaper clippings. So really just go out and find some flat stuff that you want to stick in there and it'll be nice and fun. Um, we also have a quarter because you can stick metal in here as well. Um, as long as it's, like I said, small enough, flat enough, manageable. So put our nice coat down, stick that quarter right on there. Paying absolutely no sense to composition, but it's a demo. And you have a nice little home for your quarter now. Then you can come back in, torch. Show where that quarter is a little bit better. You have a nice George Washington memorabilia piece. Um, but some other ways that you can use this, if you have a painting, an oil painting that you like, uh, but you just feel like it doesn't have that right look yet, uh, just try using the medium, painting right on top of that with the medium, see if that gives you the effect that you want. Uh, you can also take any drawings and just put a drawing down and on a wood board or something and then just use the, the medium on top of that. It gives it a really nice effect. So th really the possibilities are endless. It's a lot of fun to use and uh, I hope you enjoyed this painting lesson and I'll see you next time.